major thoroughfare right in the heart of Grand Junction is needing an update. The county has big plans for Orchard Avenue. A major thoroughfare right in the heart, as we said, is looking for some updates. Yeah, big plans are ahead for uh, Orchard Avenue, a big project, in fact. We're joined by Adam Woodbury right now, who's got a little bit more on what we can expect. Yeah, good evening, Bernie and Hannah. So, I mean, well, we were supposed to have a map up here, but yeah, the area that we were talking about is Orchard Avenue, as we said, between 29 and a half road and Warrior Way. Now, if you've been out there, that you have no doubt noticed that there's not a lot of sidewalk and not many streetlights either. I spoke with the county engineering director who's giving us an idea of what they have in mind. Currently is just a two lane with gravel shoulders. So there's a bike path on the north side that's uh, for the most part all the way through, but um, it's not very conducive for um, pedestrian and bicyclist travel. A major Grand sides. Junction road overdue for an upgrade. Orchard Avenue between 29 and a half road and Warrior Way slated to get new and improved sidewalks, bike lanes and better access to public transit all becoming compliant with federal disability rules. Mesa County Engineering Director Laura Page says after completing a quarterly study about Orchard and several public meetings the county decided changes needed to be made. That area is a major corridor where it gets a lot of traffic, so it really needs to be upgraded. Because if you've walked through the area, you know it's not the most pedestrian friendly zone in the world. So here's what I found. On Orchard Avenue, between 30 Road and Warrior Way, there really isn't much sidewalk to speak of. Now there is some, yes, but it's usually on the north side of Orchard. Now if you're on the south side, well, you're kind of out of luck. I just measured between the white line and the shoulder where it cuts off is about nine inches. Other than that, you're just in the dirt. And on days like today, where we still have plenty of snow out there, it's going to make for a, a sloppy mess. However, there are some stretches of road without any sidewalk on either side. And then there's the matter of streetlights. Between 29 and a half road and Warrior Way, I counted 15, eight of which were at the 29 and a half and 30 road intersections. So essentially, that's just seven streetlights for the one and a three quarter mile stretch of Orchard Avenue. But that might not change. The county doesn't um, really own or maintain any streetlights. Uh, Page says the entire do. project will cost 15 to 16 million dollars, which is why the county is reaching out to the feds for help. In a letter, Commissioner Janet Rowland asks U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg for a grant from the Rebuilding American Infrastructure with Sustainability and Equity Program saying the project will improve safety and connectivity. The hope is to get the $13 million in grant money, and if it is accepted, the county can get the ball rolling. But there is the chance the application gets denied. The, the, the county is working on um, trying to improve the transportation system for, for our citizens, um, and that includes just not um, the vehicular um, uh, travel, but also the pedestrian and the, the bicyclist. I mean, of course, at this point, the grant isn't a done deal. I mean, they've only just submitted the letter. Um, Laura Page, she says that they'll likely know by the end of June whether or not they actually get the grant. And even if the, they don't get the grant, the project is still going to move forward. But, you know, without that funding, though, she says it's going to take a lot longer. And they'll probably have to even have to allocate money from other projects. But, and, you know, Something I was like, they certainly hope to avoid. I yeah, exactly. Think. You know, and I was out there for like almost an hour today, and I could see why people crumbling a bit, huh? Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit unsafe. Like yeah. I said, there were sections where there was no sidewalk at all. Others, it's only on the one side of the road, or it's either that or the dirt and the snow. Well, so. we'll see. We'll follow up on this story. Well, for sure, for yeah. Sure. All right, thanks, Adam.